time travel's been solved. I mean it, it's just not the way you think. Stick around though, because it's cool as hell. So this article just popped up on the preprint server. In it, the author cleverly used basic relativity and quantum mechanics to show that there are no paradoxes involved in time travel. Let me explain. The only realistic form of time travel that we know of is via travel around a closed time-like curve. This is a loop in space-time. You travel along the loop forward in time, but then, at some point along your path, your time coordinate begins to decrease until you're back where you started. This is a form of time travel. Time should move forward for you, but at some point you end up back in the past. And people like myself have often claimed that these are impossible because they lead to contradictions, to paradoxes. So the question this paper answered is what is life like aboard a ship traversing a CTC? To answer this, he treated the entire ship as a large quantum system. Now, to determine the behavior of a quantum system, one needs to understand the so-called time evolution operator. This is a mathematical object that describes how that quantum system changes in time. And here's the crux. Because the proper time of the time traveler is proportional to a parameter that controls how far along the loop the time traveler has gone, and because that parameter is cyclic, as it's a loop, it follows that the time evolution operator is also cyclic. And that means that whatever state you started in, you end up in precisely that same state when you complete one loop. And the implications of this are huge. Broadly, it means that anything that happens to you on your way around is exactly undone by the time the loop is completed. So, for example, any memory you form will be unformed by the time you return to where you started. But even more strangely, it means that at some point along the loop, entropy runs backwards. Now, you might think that this is incompatible with the second law of thermodynamics, but what this really means is that once you reach the point of maximal entropy along your path, you cease to exist. And that's because the way we experience time is by an increase in entropy. In this way, the point of maximum entropy is where your experience and your future ceases. So you would never actually experience going backward in time, because your brain would just start to forget things that happened to you in perhaps a different order until you ended up back where you started. And I really want to nail this home, you won't be aware that this is happening, because it's happening to your awareness itself. So essentially, you don't exist during this process until the whole loop starts again. Now what about entering or leaving the loop? Well, let's say you start out in normal space-time with the intention of making a CTC, going around once, and then leaving. So you enter the loop for the first time, ready to go around once. After a complete loop, your brain is exactly as it was when you first entered, so you think, alright, time to go around once, so you do it again. Essentially, you become trapped, unable to leave, and that means, for all intents and purposes, you're dead to the outside world. Now there's an important caveat to this argument. The system must be closed to outside influences. However, it's likely that a more careful consideration of this argument can include even those systems that communicate with the outside world. So to sum it up, time travel is possible, except you wouldn't know it's happening to you, and you wouldn't be able to leave your time machine once you get in. Paradoxes solved.